Hi everybody. Today we're going to be reviewing the Vortex Diamondback binocular. Um, this is a entry level binocular. It's similar to the Nikon uh, Monarch and it's got a lot of great features, a couple drawbacks, but overall it's fairly decent. Um, we'll start with the negatives first because the list is rather short actually. So on the negative side, the um, Vortex occasionally has been known to break its seal and get the call it the vortex fog. I haven't seen this myself, but I have seen several um, reviews that people have had this happen to them. And the fog is basically when the glass, um, the seal breaks in the glass in the case and condensation and moisture gets in. When you go to look through them, all you can see is fog. Um, I haven't experienced that myself, but there has been several reviews that um, this has happened. The second negative, and this may not be a big deal depending on what you're hunting, is at dusk and dawn, um, sometimes it's not as bright as some of the higher end binoculars. But that being said, for this price point in the entry level, it's only $200 or approximately. and you know, for $200 you can't really expect a Swarovski or a Zeiss caliber binocular. Now, for the plus um, side of this, these have like a rubberized coating to hold on to. They feel really good in your hands. Um, they have a similar coating to some of the higher, or I shouldn't say similar coating, but like a similar feel to some of the higher end binoculars just when you're holding them. Um, versus some of the super cheap like Bushnell out of the plastic shrink wrap package that you'd get at Bass Pro or Cabela's um, that are like that hard plastic. These are, do have a rubbery fill. Um, the other positive on these is probably the warranty. Um, the lifetime warranty and it's no questions asked. Like you could drop them, you can break them, it could be your fault and they'll still replace them. Whereas if something comparable like the Nikon uh, monitor gets broken and if you run over it with your truck or whatever, there's no way they would replace that. So the warranty is really one of the key reasons why people go with the Vortex to begin with. Um, that being said, for the glass quality wise, I was absolutely shocked at how good the uh, clarity and the brightness was with these binoculars at uh, normal light conditions. Um, that half an hour before sunrise and half an hour sun after sunset I did find them a little dark but other than those times of the day um, incredibly bright very clear um, glass for the most part. Now most of the optics that I've had have been um, the higher end binoculars and spotting scope such as like the Swarovskis and that's a night and day difference going that step up, but that's also 10 times the price of these binoculars. Um, I would definitely recommend a set of these um, Vortex Diamondbacks for anybody that's either just getting into hunting or that's on a budget. This is by far the best quality binocular I've found for this price point and um, even, even though I've got the high-end binoculars that I use for uh, my mountain hunting and whatnot. Uh, this is a great pair to leave in the truck, bounce around. It's a good all-purpose pair. You forget one at home, you can pull these out and you'll do just fine with them. It's definitely, like I said, not a Swarovski or a Zeiss uh, caliber piece of glass, but for the price point, I don't think you can beat it. Um, the other thing that I really liked uh, about these is they're very compact. They've got uh, some of the cheaper binoculars you can only fold them in so far or they're side by side whatever the reason are for their design but these are actually designed very similar to a higher end binocular. Um, the reticle or the uh, eyepieces um, are adjustable and you can tune them just like you would on a any other pair of binoculars to really dial it in for your eyes. This pair is only an 8x42 
Um, I think this is a pretty good, um, for myself anyways, it's a pretty good power to uh, objective lens. It doesn't uh, weigh a whole ton um, versus some, sometimes guys get the bigger binoculars with a 50 mil objective lens or um, 10, 12 power binoculars for longer range binocular or longer range uh, glassing, but I found this 8x40 um, size is just about perfect for um, game like deer and sheep and elk and whatnot, and um, for sheep that I like to hunt, I use these to pick up movement and then I'll pull out my spotting scope to uh, really zoom in and see what I'm really looking at. But just for an all-purpose binocular, I don't think you can beat these for the price point, the warranty, and the clarity of the uh, the uh, glass. Um, but yeah, you know, compared to the other lower-end brands, um, I think the Nikon Monarch is probably a close second, if not equivalent for quality-wise, but the Vortex edges it out in terms of you've got the warranty that uh, is pretty much unsurpassed, I think, in, in, under any brand. And um, it definitely blows away the lower end Leopold in terms of quality and clarity. And it definitely um, definitely is more comparable to a higher end. Um, it's probably more comparable to a higher end brand, but their base model. Um, that's what I'm trying to get at. So like a Zeiss Conquest line maybe or something to that effect but overall I'd give these a 5 out of 5 um, based on the being an entry level binocular I don't think they could really do much more to improve these for the price point and um, I'd recommend these 10 when starting out